I'm joined here by four PLNU men's basketball players, fifth years, a few graduate transfers. Uh, number one, Caden Anderson returning to the Sea Lions. From left to right, Wes Slackert, Caden Anderson, Shamrock Campbell, and Tobin Carlberg. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Uh, Shamrock, I'll, I'll start with you. Uh, transferring from Carroll College, uh, what was the motivation to make the move? Yeah, I just thought uh, here I'd be able to pursue my master's. Uh, that was a big one for me. And then um, just the opportunity to play at the D2 level. And then I've, I've known Coach Logie previously, so I had a good relationship with him. So kind of getting to play, play under him was a, a motivation. And then obviously living in San Diego is pretty cool. So that was a well, and you had a heck of a career there, NAI All-American. Uh, we're on a few teams who made some deep postseason runs, including to the national championship game. Uh, you, you mentioned a step up to the D2 level. What have you noticed in your short time here so far? Uh, I think just the skill level overall, I think across the board. Um, there's a little more skill. Um, yeah. Well, Tobin, you're, you're coming from a D2 school in Alaska Anchorage. You're their leading scorer in Algenex, a former. For you, why Point Loma? Yeah, I think I was looking for a change of pace, change of scenery, but also um, I wanted to, you know, be on a team and make a change and really have a chance to win at, at like the highest level I could, you know, uh, for my last year. And you know, Point Loma has gone to, you know, a few NCAA tournaments in a row here. And so just the chance to do that and uh, be around great people. Sham talked about the coaching staff. That's That was big for me. Um, and yeah, just, Excited to have a chance to win, win in March here. So, well, you mentioned the change of scenery. You're from Anchorage. Uh, you live very close to their campus. So, what's it been like for you coming to San Diego? It's been a little different. I think first time, you know, not having family around, felt a little bit like a freshman at times. You know, being down here uh, away from, you know, hometown. But it's been really great too. There's a lot to like uh, being down here, and yeah, just definitely thankful for the team and type of people I'm around so and Wes now to you you're coming from Dartmouth division one program uh, obviously you're from the west coast uh, you enjoying the warmer weather yeah yeah absolutely I think um, for me that was a, a you know in, in, in a way a certain motivator for me to get back closer to home um, and then like Tobin said I had the opportunity to make a, a deep run in the postseason and Coming from the Division One level, but to a very top program here in Division Two, what, what have you noticed uh, just in the level of, of your teammates so far? Um, I, you know, I think honestly very similar. I think uh, the team we have here and the skill level and the athleticism and the coaching staff—it's all first class and um, yeah, really not not a major difference at all. I think we feel like as a team and all of us individually and collectively can compete um, with any team, no matter the level. So. Um, I'm, I'm excited to kind of take that attitude into the season. And Caden, you're coming back. You've, you've already had a stellar career here so far. The back-to-back -back Pac West Player of the Year, D2 CCA All-American. For you, what was the motivation to come back for a fifth season? Uh, you know, last year just kind of left with a sour taste in my mouth. Um, we faced a lot of adversity as a team last year. Um, and then losing again in the first round just kind of just kind of hurt. And, you know, there's just a lot of unfinished business that we have this year. Um, but the group of guys we have now, I think you know, we got a great, great chance to make a deep run. So, well, and you, you have a veteran laden roster. You got, you got the grad transfers. You got yourself coming back for a fifth season. How, how much of an asset is that for your team this year? No, I think it's, I think it's going to be very beneficial. You know, we got a lot of experience. Um, I think, you know, we're really starting to click in practice, and it's showed off in our scrimmages. Um, so, I mean, we're all itching to get on the floor next Friday and get to work. And, and for you grad transfers, Tobin, I'll start with you just in terms of how you settled in so far and, and how, I'd say, maybe the camaraderie amongst you grad transfers, because you're all kind of in the same situation. And you talked about feeling like a freshman, but, um, you know, the bond that, that you guys have. Yeah, I think there was a learning curve just from uh, – standpoint of like having a bunch of new terminology and uh, new concepts thrown at you but being in that together with some of these guys and then also having like guys like Caden who have been in it for a few years um, it's just it's been a nice transition and definitely feel like I've grown but um, yeah I feel like feel like we'll be better because of this. And Shamrock West the same thing just in terms of how you guys have 
have settled in and, and what the transition's been like. Yeah, I think Owen touched on it, like the terminology was new and I thought the first two weeks everything was kind of new, but uh, just knowing I wasn't the only one, I mean, we'd talk about it and we'd help each other through it, but um, I feel settled in now and we have a super unselfish group of help, which helps on the court, I mean, um, I think that's big and helps in the transition. Yeah, I'd agree, I think that, that unselfish piece and just having really good people around, um, you know, we talk about the staff, but I think you know, that, that translates into recruiting really good people and having, you know, like good people on the team. So I think that's made the transition easier. And like you said, being able to do it together and have those shared experiences helps a lot too. Oh, and Dan, you, you mentioned the, the sour taste in your mouth being eliminated in the postseason last year. What, what makes you confident that this group can be different? Uh, I think just the, like they said, just how unselfish we've been playing. Uh, you know, it's really fun to step on the court with these guys and we get to work every day. After our scrimmages, you know, we really, we're really not scared to play anybody, and uh, we're really just looking forward to get out there again. Yeah, well, and how excited, Toby, I'll start with you. You have a very daunting non-conference schedule, but you, know, you guys have already came home against it. But to start the year off with a couple of top ten ranked opponents, uh, how excited are you to start off with such a, a hard schedule? Yeah, no, it's, we talked about it the other day in practice, uh, just how cool of opportunity. I know when I was at Anchorage, we played a couple ranked teams uh, kind of throughout my four years so to have two top 25 teams within your first two weeks of the season like, you can't ask for much more of a chance to prove yourself in that so, I'm super excited I know we are too for the chance to like prove that we are like kind of among the elite uh, at the D2 level so and then Shermock West I'll finish with you guys what what should we expect to see from the Sea Lions this year uh, I think just a uh, super together and unselfish uh, play a style of basketball I like to share it and um, you know Coach Logie's teams obviously are able to score the ball but I think we'll also be able to defend the ball well this season too. Yeah no I second everything Sham said it's it's a uh, fun brand of basketball and, and you know gonna lead to a lot of winning so excited to get going. Yeah well we couldn't be more excited here on Point Lama's campus to watch you guys in action guys thanks for joining us and best of luck here coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.